eight seed. Intenon had a bye in the first round. In fact, all seeds had a bye in the very first round of the women's singles. We know that the number 14 seeds awaits the winner of the match that we are about to watch. So the women's singles, the hugely popular Rachanuk Intanon. In 2013, in Guangzhou in China, became the youngest ever winner of the women's singles world title, not the youngest ever winner of a senior world title. That honor still lies with Zhang Ayok in the women's doubles in 1995. But what a sensation it was that year in Guangzhou. She was always a bit of a star before that gold medal victory, Rachanok Intanon, but she became a mega star after winning gold at those world championships. Six black. Red. Sir. Serve. Which side would you like? This side? Okay. So Elaine Kong of the United States of America is our umpire for this one. And there is Ratchanuk Intanon. She's still only 22 years of age. Former world number one, two wonderful weeks as world number one, straight after winning three consecutive Super Series titles in three weeks last year. India, Malaysia and Singapore. And those victories took her to the pinnacle on the world ranking number one. Well, she has had a bye, as I say, in the first round here. So this is her first match of these world championships. Her opponent, the left-hander, Yap Rei Chen, born in Johor, and has been as high as 91, slightly down from that. She's actually only the sixth ranked Malaysian on the world ranking, not the tallest of athletes, as you can see, that's just under five foot four. But she has been in three international tournament finals. She's won a couple of titles as well, and earlier this week, in fact, yesterday, she beat Wendy Chen from Australia in two straight games. Just 31 minutes for that victory yesterday. So as far as these two players are concerned, there's a bit of a gulf in the world rankings. There's the umpire I was telling you about. And Klaus Schlieben. I can assure you that is Klaus Schlieben of Austria. Ready to play? So this will be the first meeting between these two players, understandable, because Rachna Kintanon is a regular at the world's elite tier tournaments, whereas her opponent has been playing international challenger events and international series events. Well, I said she's won a couple of titles and they were both last year, this young Malaysian, 21 year old, as a qualifier, won the Hungarian international challenger and then again as a qualifier, the Norwegian international series. So the international series, just a, a tier below the international challengers, and just below the International Series, we have the Futures Series. We're going upwards after the International Challenges, we have and Grand Prix and then Grand Prix Golds right, and then Roy Super Chen, Series yeah. events. Malaysia. On my left, Ratchanov Intanon, Thailand. Ratchanov Intanon to serve, love all, play. So this second round, women's singles, the former champion. <laughs> Getting this match underway. Service over. One love.
to love. I have to confess, Lars, I don't think I've ever seen Yap playing before. Have you? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've uh, watched her a bit on uh, uh, on YouTube, and uh, she's a uh, she's a very skillful player, um, and, and has uh, she's already shown uh, quite good uh, One, shots from uh, from the backcourt with her with her left hand. Um, I think at this level against a player like Ratchinok, um she could uh, get a little bit in trouble with her with her movement, but. Uh, if she's allowed to control the rallies as she has done from the beginning here, then uh, then we uh, she she has possibilities in the rallies. Mm. Service over. Three, one. Oh, that's delightful. Service over. Two, Ray Chen three. will perhaps be hoping to qualify for the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast next April. It was rather exciting seeing the Queen's relay baton. I was here when it was actually happening. It was very exciting. Five days it's going to travel around Scotland. The baton actually left Buckingham Palace on the 13th of March. And it's going to travel about 143,000 miles before arriving on the Gold Coast. Three, oh. Lovely to see so many kids here getting involved with such a wonderful and special occasion. And I hope some of those kids are watching the Babington right now. Oh. It's gone long. Service over. Four, three. Service over for all. Yeah, and it, it should be an uh, advantage for um, for Yap uh, region that that she played a match yesterday. Uh, it was not a long match, and, and it was for her a very good victory, I think. Um, whereas it's it's uh, Ratchinok's first appearance, so uh, she might need a, a a few minutes on court before Five, she feels uh, really comfortable. We've been lucky enough, Lars, in yesterday and today. We've come taking on uh, two athletes that carried flags at the Olympics last year. Because, of course, Ratchnook Inton also carried a flag. Yesterday, we all watched Kate Fuku, who carried the flag for Mauritius in Rio. Six, it was Ratchnook who four. led out the Thailand team. And that's... It's amazing that we have so many badminton players who... Uh, who gets to uh, to do this honour for, for their respective countries. Yeah. It just shows how important the sport Seven, of badminton four. is in so many countries around the world. In Europe, sometimes people don't understand, and the Americans, they don't understand sometimes the athletic uh, ability in the world tour and how it is such a popular Eight. sport. I've seen a statistic that it is the second highest participation sport globally. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, it hasn't Nine, taken her long four. to get her spatial awareness and feel comfortable on this court. Lars, you were saying that... You know, it will take her a bit of time. I can mm. see that she's already settling in. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and Yabri Chen is starting to feel the, the real pressure that she's going to face today. It, it's definitely not the same. Uh, she's not getting the same options as she did in in the uh, in the first few rallies of uh, of this opening game. She's, uh, the Malaysian is, is quite happy that she's made it to the second round, and uh, she uh, she is an independent player. She's not playing for the national team, but uh, got invited here um, because the at least the top two uh, women singles players are playing the Sea Games. So it's a big opportunity for her, and, and I think she's taken it uh, already by by winning Five, a, ten. Yeah. A, a quite difficult first round match uh, yesterday. 
Well long of the back line. So it is the former champion, Arachan Kintanen, that goes to the big game interval with a handsome lead. Six point advantage. I remember him as a player. He was a fine player too. Yeah, and it's good coaching when we don't understand the language that he shows everything he says. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there was something about a punch clear or yeah. cross court there. <laughs> there was a lot of, of technical shots there. But, uh, <laughs> 11, but I know that as a coach that sometimes you're, you're so uh, so excited and it's hard actually uh, not to to gesture quite a lot uh, while you try to, to get the message through. No harm in that at all. Service over. Six. Eleven. Ratchanuk, one of only four players ever to win the World Junior Championship and then go on and win the World Senior title. Oh, I swear you were Chinese. Gong Reina, Wang Yihan, and Wang Lin. Just wide. Crisp, isn't it? Over. Yeah, it's very crisp, and, and uh, she just finishes the, sh the, sh the shot with a very fast snap there uh, with the wrist. I know we've talked about it before, Lars, but honestly, you know, the style of Rachinok. I think most badminton fans would feel the same as me. It's just a delight to watch that easy, relaxed hitting action and yet creates wonderful disguise and, you know, her range of shots. The number of different shots she can play from any position in court is just remarkable. And she just makes it look easy the whole time. Yeah, it is, and, and, and that's uh, why it... It, it's maybe a little bit strange that uh, the coach was talking so much about her technique in, in the interval, but uh, but that is of course because he wants it. Um, he knows that she's very likely to win this match, so it's it's a lot about the process, about the fine tuning uh, her technique for for the matches to come. And a very nice attempt here again. 10, 13. Him to try and get out of trouble from deep in the forehand corner from Yap. Nice backhand. Oh. Yeah, the problem is, is that Ratchnuk anticipates it and took it so early at the net. Yeah, and Yab is always slightly late because of, of uh, the disguise in, in uh, Rachinok's uh, shots. So, um, so that means that, that 
it's difficult for her to to follow the tempo of, uh, of the game uh, from Rajnak. 16, 10, 9, women's singles and women's doubles the only two disciplines at the world championships in which malaysian players haven't managed to medal yeah she was off balance as she played that nearest they came in the women's singles was wong mu chu in 2007 playing the world championships on home soil in kuala lumpur she got to the quarter final Start the eventual champion, Julian. 18, 10. Yeah. Making it look easy now, Rachanuk. 19, just two points 10. away from this opening game. She's an independent player. Yep. Um, no, but I, I guess it's uh, they have stronger players in in the national team. They believe. Um. Yeah, could be as simple as that. <laughs> Game point opportunities. Twelve. Wide, 21-12 opening game, game in favour of the number eight seed and the former champion Bratchanuk Intanon. Just 13 minutes needed for game number one. ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่
erratic because if it's working, then it's sublime. If it's not working, then it's very ordinary. Yeah, that's, that's true. But and, and then you have to work on, on their conception that it's, it's not enough just to be uh, naturally uh, skilled or uh, you, you have to work hard as well. And, and I'm sure uh, that well, it was easy to see in, in 2013 in, in the World Championships in Guangzhou when, uh, when she won Ratchinok that she had clearly improved uh, Two, her physical condition. Mm. And that meant that, that she could suddenly uh, beat players or, or her opponents that that she would um, that would wear her down um, prior to that. So uh, so you're right, but but so the ones who go through they're the ones who who are also ready to uh, to work on on the other areas uh, because just just one uh, strength is is not enough in in modern badminton. No, I totally agree. Oh, look at that. Three, and that's that's two. where, in my opinion, the women's singles is so it's not exciting right now because the development of these skills and the disguise of the shots, the ability to play that, all the top players now have that ability. It's not just one or two. Four, Virtually two. all of them have that. Yeah, and, and they are all trying to win the points, and, and then the opposition is very strong in defense, so it's, it's not easy to do it, so you have to be creative, you have to be uh, clever uh, uh, tactically. But, but, uh, and that's, that's why uh, a lot of the, the women's singles matches are, are very uh, worth Five, watching. Two. Yeah. Well, I think it's the most exciting discipline at the moment out of all five disciplines. But well, I think it's I think it's very very hard to, to say which is the most exciting to watch. But it's I, I think the same thing has happened a little bit in, in uh, or a lot actually in women's doubles where um, right now they are, it's it's actually worth playing uh, offensive. It's worth worth attacking. Whereas we had a period where the the defense was simply too strong. Yeah. And and so it it made more sense to uh, to to play very uh, defensively tactics. Um, and, and I think it's the women's doubles is, is very worth watching right now as well. Yeah, I've got a challenge here. I couldn't agree more. And, uh, but I think what I was really trying to say about the most exciting discipline is because there's so many players who could win. And, and they've all got this, they've all attained this higher level. They've taken the sport up a notch. And there's no predictability about women's singles. Now, Hawkeye thinks it's in. Challenge successful. Raptanak and Denon has two oh, challenges When you put it that remaining. way, then I agree with you Service even more over. because it's... Seven, it's, uh, three. It's incredible how many different nations uh, who, who can produce uh, top women singles players uh, right now, and that that makes it just more interesting uh, than if it's only a, a few. Yeah. It's interesting, and just to emphasize our point, the last World Championships in Jakarta was the first time in World Championship history since the Chinese have been involved that China did not win a medal in the women's singles discipline. And they had been totally dominant at one stage in that event. Nine. Yeah, that's a good good indicator. Mm. Four times we've had a clean sweep in the women's singles of medals at the World Championships. Ten, three. 85, 87. Here in Glasgow in 
1997 and Seville in 2001. We go to the mid-game interval. Handsome lead for the former champion, Arachana Kintanon. Eight-point advantage. Looking to be cruising. So the input from the coaches. And was, since that coaching break was happening, you were just telling me some very interesting statistics there. That, Eleven three. Yep, Ray Chen is the niece Play. of the World Championship silver medalist, Yap Kim Hock, who won a silver medal here in Glasgow 20 years ago. What a gem. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? <laughs> but then, <laughs> and if, if she has to reproduce that, then uh, 12, the coach uh, should tell her some, uh, some really good stuff now because yeah. uh, she is in trouble. And uh, as expected, it's, it's hard to follow the pace from uh, from Ratchet Thirteen, three. Oh, and her uncle is here, uh, but of course he can't coach her because he's here as a coach for India. So. Uh, That's coach for India. Sorry. Oh, that's perfect. Service over. 14. 4. Winners at will now are actually looking to non four. Yeah, and now the shots are, are really getting accurate. Very nice uh, straight slice here. Opportunity there for the action up. Differences between winners of, of uh, 
of international series tournaments and, and super series tournaments is the speed and, and that's what uh, Rajinok has, has shown us here today, uh, if we didn't know already. Speed of movement. Yeah, speed of movement, speed of game, speed of the shots. Uh, it's, it's a, to me, that's the, the overall biggest factor in badminton. That's, that is being able to play at a high speed, because if, yeah. if the opponent plays at a higher speed than you, then you don't play. have time to do your shots, and, and then tactically, tactically you don't have uh, the same options. Service over, 19-6. Two points away, Rachinok, from uh, booking her third round match against the number 14 seed, Chen Xiao Xin. Opportunities. First one is squandered. Service over. Seven twenty. by the former champion. 21, 12, 21, 7. Match won by Rachinok Intanon. 21, 12, 27 minutes 21, for that victory. And she will indeed face another seed in the third round in Cantor against Chen Xiaoxin. So comfortable then for our Arachanuk Intanon, two straight games. So as they take leave, they get an opportunity to see some of those wonderful shots once again from Arachanuk Intanon. Celtic Park Football Club and of course Celtic were the first uh, British football club to win the European Cup beating Inter Milan in the 1967 final. We're here at the Emirates Arena which is just opposite in the east end of Glasgow. And what a magnificent arena it is too. It was of course built for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Well next up there is home interest so the fans here eager to see Patrick McHugh and Martin Campbell up against the Dutch pairing of Jaco Arens and Ruben Yella. So as far as the section of the draw is concerned that we're in right now, the former European champions and former All England champions Vladimir Ivanov and Ivan Sozanov of Russia, the number 10 seeds, await the winners of the match that we are about to watch. 